chance to play again, but he also highlighted uh, the work you put in in the G League. Just curious from your perspective how that's helped you kind of stay ready. Oh, for sure. You know, be able to go down there and get real game reps against real talented guys is, I mean, it's huge. I mean, you could drill and, and be up here in the practice facility and do drills and get shots up, but it's not the same as, you know, having reps out there and going against a team. So being able to go down there, knock some rust off, coming off the injury, it was major for me. How do you accept that, just being in such a different environment than an NBA environment to, for, your, for your own benefit? Uh, I mean, it's something that was discussed to me, you know, even in the, in the pre-draft process, you know, how do you feel about this and that? I mean, it's, it's something that teams always ask you, and it's something that I'm open to. You know, I love the game of basketball. I love to play. So, you know, an opportunity to play is an opportunity I'll take. So whether it's in the G or in the NBA, I'm always ready. Was there anything about your game that you tried to explore a little bit more in the G League? Uh, nah, not too much. I just wanted to go down there and knock, knock a lot of rust off and, you know, get <laughs> shots up. Uh, Obviously, I hadn't been shooting it too well going into that. So just being able to go down there and, you know, shoot from the NBA line and, and guys hunting shots for me, I mean, it was huge. I think you mentioned before the season, you didn't play a bunch in your freshman year at Gonzaga, right? Mm -hmm. um, that that was going to be something that would help you if your minutes were kind of fluctuating. What did you take from, I guess, what you learned in college about minutes being, you know, given at certain points and not being given that you've applied to this uh, I feel like the biggest thing for me was I waited my turn and it worked out for me at Gonzaga. So I understand that, you know, if you do the right thing and, and you accept it, come in here, work, and do your job every day, that your time will come. And, and you know, opportunities like today will arise. I mean, I didn't wake up today and know I was going to play. So, you know, just being able to be ready, uh, having PD coaches that, that keep me ready and, you know, challenge me every day to, you know, keep me in shape and things like that so I can come out here and, you know, have an impact. What's the biggest thing for you, like mentally, when you're not playing, to continue to stay ready? Uh, I mean, I got a lot of vets that are just in my ear constantly. You know, I sit next to DeAndre Jordan on the bench, so he's constantly in my ear telling me little things he notices, you know, watching other shooters, how they maneuver off screens, or, or little things about how people are guarding certain people. And, oh, you see that? You see how he died on that screen? It's just something you can't do. So, you know, just having vets in my ear that can help me break down the game while I'm on the bench watching is major. Can you break down Christian Brown's fit? when he was walking in the game. <laughs> I think Christian looked amazing. I think that was his best fit of the year by far. Uh, ain't nothing like a little Zag jersey. And, and you see that I was the original zero. You know, CB <laughs> stole my number, but it, we're not going to go too deep into that. What, what is the next? What are you working towards right now? Like, are, is trying to earn playoff minutes something on your radar? Or are you, like, thinking farther in the future, I guess? Uh, I mean, right now, uh, I feel like go back to what worked. Uh, you know, just being prepared and, and getting in here, getting shots up, and, and, you know, just trying to be a sponge and absorb as much as I can. You know, I'm not looking too deep into whether I'll play or not. That's something that Coach Malone will decide and, and you know, just will shape out through the rest of the season in the playoffs. But, you know, my main thing is just continuing to grow here in the practice facility and, and, and being with the guys. And, I mean, I'm a rookie, so I, I got a lot to learn, and, and there's a lot of opportunity to learn new things and, and just continue to grow as a person and a player. Uh, after Memphis cut it to 15 there in the third quarter, uh, Malone took a pretty quick time out. But what was his message to you guys during that stoppage? Uh, just to respect the game, you know, understand that, you know, we're playing with a lead, but that doesn't mean that we can be lackadaisical and, and you know, just get rid of our, you know, core principles and, and just go out there and play ball. You know, we got to still play a fourth quarter defense and, and lock in, you know, going into uh, the, the latter stages of the game. So that was, that was his main focus. What do you uh, think of the uh, Zags chances uh, uh, against Purdue? I love our chances. I love our chances a lot. We got to see them earlier this year in Maui. Uh, obviously, we lost, but but I think we can learn from that. And we're playing our best ball right now. You know, it doesn't matter if you peak in, in November. It's if you peak in March. So I think we're peaking right now. Did you and Christian watch that game together? Nah, he didn't want to watch that. He knew what it was. <laughs> he just didn't want to admit it going into it. He, he, knew, he knew we had that one in the bag. He didn't want to watch that with me. Thank you. Appreciate it.